If you're looking for a Google Analytics alternative, then this video is for you. I'm Natalie Lucier, founder of Access Ally, a WordPress plugin that lets you sell, create, and deliver amazing online courses, memberships, and communities all in one place with one flexible plugin. And I'm also a permaculture farmer, so you'll see me here on the farm every now and then. Now, here is why I think it is so important to be considering a Google alternative right now when it comes to your analytics. Personally, I've been using Google Analytics for more than a decade, and for the most part, it was great when I got started because it was totally free and when you're a small business just getting started you want to cut costs and make sure that it's viable before you invest in a lot of tools now it was also great because it was easy to set up and i could get all the data that i wanted right from the get-go but there is a big thing that has happened in the online space now one thing we've all come to realize over the past few years is that if you are not paying for a product and especially not a digital product then you are the product and especially your data is the product and that is definitely the case when it comes to your Google Analytics data. Unfortunately, Google is collecting all of this data about people all over the world, and it was recently ruled that they are violating GDPR, which is a European Union law that protects people's privacy by sending data back to US servers that they should not be sending. Now, there are definitely other big tech companies that abuse their data resources, but we gotta start somewhere, and if it comes to your website and how you run your business, and it's really important to you to be GDPR compliant and to not not abuse people's data as they come to your website by tracking them and sending the data to other places, then definitely choosing a Google alternative that is going to be more privacy focused is gonna make a big difference for you. Now, if you're trying to optimize your website for it to rank in search engines, then you know that site speed is super important and it's a metric that will help you rank faster and higher on your key terms. But unfortunately, Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics scripts actually slow down your website, which is kind of ironic because Google actually built both of those tools Tools. So you would think that they would make their own tools a little bit faster. But here's the thing, there are amazing alternatives when it comes to Google Analytics, and I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite today, which is Fathom Analytics. When I was evaluating all the different alternatives for analytic tools, I was looking for something that would load quickly on my website that wouldn't bog it down, something that was GDPR friendly and privacy focused, also something that would allow me to track different types of events like a purchase, an opt-in, a webinar sign up on our website. And the interface had to be simple and easy to use. Unfortunately, Google Analytics just rolled out a new update that makes it really complicated to find all the data that you used to have at your fingertips in the old version of analytics. And for me, it was a choice of having to learn this new interface and get familiar with it and really dig in and have to click many, many times to get my data or finding something like Fathom, which has been great in terms of the interface and simple to see all the data that I want on one page. So incredibly, Fathom Analytics ticked all those boxes, and now I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of the two, and then I'll give you a quick tutorial on how to set up Fathom Analytics and how easy it is to use. So first of all, Fathom Analytics is not free, but Google Analytics is still free. The lowest plan for Fathom right now is $14 a month, and it goes up the more traffic you have. Now, what I think about that is that it's very reasonable if you have a certain level of traffic, and also, again, you are not the product, your data is not the product, and that to me matters a lot. And I wanna take care of the people who come to my website and treat them well. I love the Fathom Analytics tracking code. It is so easy to set up, it loads quickly, and also you can use your own custom domain. So that means it won't get blocked by all kinds of ad blockers. Fathom Analytics UI is so beautiful and so easy, and you can click through on all of the different areas that you want, and there's even more updates coming soon with more data that you can click through and see more details on. At the time of recording this video, Google Analytics still sends data back to US servers versus Fathom, which has EU-based servers for EU traffic and other servers based on where you are located in the world. And that to me makes a lot of difference in terms of the GDPR compliance of these analytics. The other thing that I absolutely love about setting up Fathom is that they allow cross-domain linking super quickly and easily versus Google Tag Manager, which is a really complicated process. If you have multiple websites or a subdomain where you take orders from like we do, we have our subdomain for taking client orders. Another key thing that you want to track on your website is when people purchase or opt in to your email newsletter. And so with Google Analytics, that can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. And for us, for tracking our orders in Google Analytics, because we're a team of developers at Access Ally, we wrote our own code to track these orders and bring them into our analytics account. And with Fathom, you don't need to write any code. You just grab the code that they give you 
put it on your website on the pages or the thank you pages that you have so you can start tracking those orders and all of that stuff right off the bat. Now let's dive into my Fathom Analytics review and show you how to set it all up. One of the things I love the most about Fathom Analytics is how you can see everything just on one page. So here you can see the stats for the past week. You can see compared to the previous week and obviously I had just installed recently so the previous week had pretty low numbers by comparison. And then what you can see here is the content that's ranking the best or at least getting the most traffic, where the, these people are coming from. In my case, Google is our biggest referrer. Um, and then if you do have cross domain, which is super important for a lot of us, you can actually see and segment out some of that traffic from the domain and see where these people are coming from and remove these filters if you don't want to use them. You can also look just at one of the domains if you have multiple domains installed like I do. and. If you also go down here, you can see device types, browsers, where these people are coming from, and then events. And this is to me a super, super valuable area where you wanna see, you know, how are people converting? Are they purchasing? Are they opting in or not? And then also with that, there's a little, we're currently working on adding event filtering. So I'm pumped that this is also on the way because that's gonna help even more just to see where people are coming from that purchase or that opt-in. Now let's take a look at how to set up events because I think that is super, super helpful. So you can create as many events as you want. And once you get in here and open one of these up, there's an events guide. And on this events guide here, you'll see all the code that you need to enter on your website to start tracking. So there's multiple options. You can add events as link clicks. So when somebody clicks a link, it will track that event. You can also track as a page load. So if somebody goes to a certain page, like a thank you page after they opt in or purchase, that can be great too. And then as form submissions. So if somebody creates a, a form submission and opts in, or maybe books a demo or a call with you, you can also track that. Now let's say I want to track every time somebody leaves us feedback. So here on my thank you for your feedback page, I have opened this up in Bricks Editor. So that is our theme and editor. So obviously each theme and builder is going to have a different way of doing this. But for us, it's pretty simple to add code. I just add a code block like this and then I come in and grab this event code. And let's say I will do as a page load. So I would just go ahead and grab this code paste it in here, and then you'll grab your event ID that you get directly from Fathom. So when you're creating this, you get your event ID. And then from there, I just go ahead and click on execute code. And what that will do is it will do that tracking event and send data back to Fathom when somebody visits this page. So adding this kind of code to your website is super straightforward and easy. You may need to do it in a different location or you might need to do it on a link. Um, so it really depends on how your WordPress site is set up. But obviously this is pretty straightforward compared to how you do things sometimes in Google Analytics. And you can also see that there's a UTM builder. So this is great if you want to keep track of links, say from an email newsletter, if somebody clicks a link and you wanna see those segmented out and shown directly inside of your Fathom Analytics. So this will create a URL that you can include in a newsletter or on social media. And then that way you can track what's working in your other efforts. Now, the other cool thing is that you can have multiple websites. So if you wanted to keep them separate, you can definitely have those websites separate as well. Again, super helpful to see all of the information on different websites. You can change the dates that you're looking for and compare different periods. You can also add more websites and see all of the data that you want inside of Fathom quite easily. And here in your different sites area, you have all of your settings. So if I wanted to come in here and change my script settings, if I wanted to uh, add events or add monitoring, this is also helpful if you wanna get a quick email if something happens on your website and it stops working all of a sudden, this is a great way to be in the loop on what's happening. And then this is where you enable multiple domains. This is also where you can stop sharing your website if you don't want people to have access or not. You can also completely export or delete your site data. And that's also great for GDPR purposes too. You can also click through and isolate certain things that you want to look at. For example, your bounce rate or your event completions. If you did a big promotion, you can see if that's having an effect. And of course you can see live data. So you can see which pages people are on right now. And that is super helpful as well as seeing all of this data for your websites. Now, the great thing about Fathom is that you can also have up to 50 websites in one account. So if you have a lot of websites yourself, or if you're a developer or a consultant and you want to track your clients, sites, you can also do that in one account. 
Now, if you are a developer or you have a web design business, go ahead and watch my next video here all about how to help you start and increase the sales of your web design business so it's more sustainable for you. And if you're a website owner, make sure to find out what the tool is that has transformed my productivity and my writing by watching my review of the Free Write Traveler right here.